Hey, Sparky. Hey, Sierra. So, I thought I'd take this chance to um, do my last outing for Bush Class Basic. What I'm planning on doing is setting up a tarp shelter, uh, sleeping in a hammock, catching a couple of fish for dinner. So, should be a good time. Not too far now. Home for the night's on the other side of those rocks. Well, I saw this spot and thought it'd be better, so I'm gonna camp right here. I'm gonna string up my hammock between this tree and this one right there. Or maybe the one behind, I'm not sure. There is a there is a little bit of debris I might have to drag away. Like that dead man's Anita down on the right side, but that's no big deal. So today I'm going to be camping or sleeping in my uh, Yukon Outfitters hammock. Um, it's the one with the built-in bug net. Uh, my wife bought it for me as uh, a gift a few years ago now. It's, I've taken some naps in it and it's pretty comfortable to nap in, but this is the first time I'm doing it overnight with it. So let's set it up. Well, there it is in all its glory. You can kind of see the bug net on top. So I did uh, forget or I couldn't find the wire cords for the bug net. I set them aside somewhere and lost them. But So hopefully the bugs won't be bad tonight. Um, if they are, I brought some extra paracord with me, so I'll have to use that. But yeah, um, I'm gonna finish setting up my shelter. I'm gonna try something a little bit different than what I've done before. Um, and so I can get a nice view. I've got a great view of the pond from where my shelter is and so I don't know, hopefully I'll see a nice sunset after I eat my fish tonight. So last night I tried to sleep out just on a cot with my uh, sleeping pad and sleeping bag and it did not go well. <laughs> I got really cold, um, I ended up going back in the house around 3 o'clock. So today I'm using my Reflectix um, underneath my sleeping pad, I'm going to put that right inside my hammock and um, I'm going to see how that does. Hopefully. Hopefully it'll be okay because it's a bit of a long hike to take back to the house at 3 in the morning. Oh, well, there it is. That's my bed for the night. Trying to back up so you can see the whole shelter. I did kind of a diamond hang for my shelter, which is kind of hard to do a diamond with a rectangular tarp, but... That's the tarp that I've got, so that's what you get to see. Anyway, let's check out the view. I kind of understand why people who uh, people don't like to use sleeping bag or sleeping pads in a hammock shelter. It's slick. But anyway, here's where I'm sleeping tonight. Got my bear bag all ready to go. Not too concerned about bears here, uh, but coyotes and raccoons are a problem. So I put the thing about uh, 10, 12 feet, if it was a straight line, from the main trunk. And 
on a relatively skinny branch. And again, I'm trying to keep raccoons out of my food. Not too much fish activity yet, but it's still pretty early. It's probably about 6.30. Yep, exactly. Exactly 6.30. This pond doesn't usually turn on until around 7, 7.30 or so. So I'll cast a couple of times, see if there's if I get any bites. If not, I'll just wait till a little bit later. And tied on my good old jitterbug. Oh man. Well, this is great. Lovely. So my line broke, and that's the only reel I brought down with me, so I guess I get to hand line now. This should be weird. Aw, oh, poopy. Well, I guess I don't get the hand line now. So I am not happy right now. I just lost my favorite lure. Um, but I did tie on a bumble bug. I've caught fish with that before. <sighs> I'm just really irritated about that jitterbug. I've had it for a long time since we moved to California. So well, hopefully I'll find it one day. Thanks, Bumblebug. Here's number two. Nice sized bass. He's also dinner. <laughs> Sounds like I might have company tonight. I've got the fish all filleted out. My rice and lentils are just about done, so I'm going to throw the fish fillets in the pan and get going. It's a nice night. I just finished eating dinner. That fish was, oh, it was delicious. I'm really glad I did this tonight. I've needed this for a while. I was planning on doing this trip all winter long, but it was just dumping rain for almost two months straight. I just didn't have a night didn't have a night where I didn't have to work the next day or had any plans, anything like that, to where I could just go out, set up a tent, curl up in my hammock, and have a nice night. So, I'm really having a good time. I've been looking forward to this for so long. It's going to be a nice night. Hey everybody, so I'm in my hammock, about ready to go to bed. I'm gonna stay up for a little while and read. I'm not even sure what time it is right now, probably about 9, 9.30, maybe. Anyway, I'm gonna read for a little bit and then I'll go to bed. Anyway, see you in the morning. Smell a coyote. If you've never smelt one before, it's very distinct. Imagine rotting meat that's been in the hot sun. Mixed with dead skunk and the stankiest wet dog you've ever smelled.
Once you smell coyote, you don't forget it. Uh, morning, everybody. Um, slept okay last night. Uh, got kind of cold, but I was warm most of the night. Yeah, I had a hard time falling asleep, but once the moon moved behind my tarp, the light wasn't as in my face, so it got a little bit easier. You know, and I understand why guys complain about a sleeping pad moving around under a hammock now. You know, but once I put it inside my sleeping bag, it did better, but the pad takes up a lot of room and makes it hard to move around. Um, yeah, like I said, I slept okay. Every new noise uh, besides the peepers would wake me up, but I'd fall right back asleep. Um, I couldn't really stay comfortable um, with the pad inside my bed, inside my sleeping bag, but and to add injury to insult, uh, around 4 o'clock I was adjusting, trying to get more comfortable, and I rolled right out of the hammock, just face first on the ground. It was pretty funny. So it's about 7 o'clock, so... I don't know, I might listen to the birds for a while longer, then I'm going to get up and make a cup of coffee and oh, tear down camp and get back to real life. I fell back asleep. thing in the morning like I said and some people wandered onto the property about <clears throat> around about midnight so I had to um, encourage them to be somewhere else because this is this is private land there's not supposed to be anybody else on here but. So I'm gonna take one last hike around or walk around the pond just to see if I can find that jitterbug that I lost last night my hopes aren't real high, but you never know, it could have drifted to the shore. I also wanted to uh, kind of explain why I didn't do a fire last night, because I know I might catch a little bit of static for that. Uh, the reason is because these people who own this property have very generously allowed me to camp out here with two stipulations. One, they don't want to be able to see my camp. Which is fine because, well, if I'm camping out somewhere, I don't want to see any sign of people anyway. And the other reason, absolutely no fires. And the reason for that is, this area of Northern California is way overdue for a wildfire. There was this area, uh, Penn Valley, Nevada City, Grass Valley area, is all almost identical type of terrain, population density, and the amount of underbrush as the Paradise area was last year. And well, I'm sure most of us know what's happened, what happened there. Um, so they didn't want to take any chances. I can do fires fine in my own backyard pit or at the uh, place where I've got my semi permanent camp with my father-in-law. But I wanted to set up here because it was close to the pond. Um, I'm very familiar with this piece of property. I live very, I live close by. I mean, I walked here from my house. And um, so for my first night out by myself in a long time, I wanted it to be in a familiar area. Well, 
think I know why the uh, geese kept getting upset last night. It's a good sized coyote. Anybody want to buy a dinghy? Know where you can get one real cheap. Oh, I didn't find my lure. Guess I'll have to get a new one. But anyway, um, I've got my camp all packed up. Um, made one last walk through just to make sure I wasn't leaving behind any garbage or anything. And now I'm going to head home and get to work for the day. Hope you enjoyed, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.